For a second time, Minister of Defence technocrats appeared before Public Accounts Committee to respond to audit queries raised by the Auditor General in the financial year ending June 2016. The Ministry's Undersecretary, Edith Botoro, was tasked to, among other things, explain why the Ministry misappropriated money that was meant for the purchase of tyres to be used in security-related activities during the 2016 general election. According to the Auditor General's report, there was no signed contract for the supply of tyres, yet the money was released. Money was gotten for one reason, it was used for another reason. This was like a tit for tat. You take the call of order to bring new tyres, but first pay me my old uh, bills. So we paid the old bills. Where are the delivery notes? So we want the, to be sure that issued, actually go these tyres. Uh, and issued the call of order, the 214 US dollars, uh, at and the same the time. And we accounting officer to actually yes, go these tyres. We, we have the evidence, Honorable Chair. The one you couldn't give them, the auditors, after demanding for over 90 days. The, the tyres were supplied. But, the, but as I told you, the supplier, they were supplied who have those deliveries. Where are you? You didn't show them to the auditors. Where are they? Where are they? Where are the delivery? Why wouldn't you show them the auditors? The auditor is saying, please, you didn't supply these tires. You just paid. And then for a call order of 2016, you are supplying invoices of 2013-14. Yes. How long did it last? Because this one is consuming more than 389 million. 389 million fuel. In an urgent operation, I feel it very irregular. I feel very And when you go to the next query, I know Gerard is going to read it on Gerard. It's still the same issue. So it is almost one billion on fuel, on an urgent operation. An urgent operation, uh, does it last for a year? Does it last for a month? How many days did it take to consume all that fuel? It was a ghost expenditure chair. And I think there were no tires supplied, and there was totally no value for money. UPDF's Deputy Chief of Logistics, Wilson Mulondo, was tasked to explain why he failed to present accountability to the auditors. You have an arrangement with these fuel stations, then you still get fuel, but you have the documentation. So what we don't want to see is us paying for fuel probably, which was not consumed. Why? Why wouldn't you have this, this evidence on file that actually this fuel was consumed? Sorry for that mishap, but uh, what exactly happened is that we had these documents, but by the time the auditor ma uh, made his report, these documents had not been collected from the various locations where fuel had been deposited. Our argument is throughout the year you still did not have this document how long do you take to collect your documents because the auditor general comes at the tail end of the year and uh, so we want to agree with you honorable chair that in this area there is need for improvement we have examined ourselves we have agreed with the auditor general and we have said come next financial year we shall not have an issue where we reach a point of park and we do not have the documents required verification. So, on this sure. meet, sure. Another matter of concern was the ministry's further request of one billion shillings to purchase stents and ponchos, which were never bought. Also queried was what the MP said was payment of compensation to a land claimant in Mubende for 390 acres of land. Each acre was valued at 10 million shillings. When they are neck of land in Mubende, you can even get as low as 800,000. But uh, we are saying, the Honourable, that the, the Chief Government Valuer gives, you know, when you look at the valuation no, no, report, no, 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 they no. give a uh, uh, disturbance allowance at 30% of the value of the land and also calculates imputed rental value. The committee also learned that whereas a number of retired soldiers are yet to receive their gratuity, there's no clear criteria on who gets paid first, with those who retired in 2017 sometimes getting their money before those who left service in the 90s. We thought of in a first in, first out. Uh, then in between, you're having estates of widows and orphans. The majority of these cases were estates that we handled. Now, estates along the way we found Honorable Chair became the most challenged area for, for ghosts. 
The officials have been asked to return on Wednesday at 9 a.m. where they will provide answers to more audit queries. Shudan Hochere, NTV Parliament.